soon as they came back, they approved that. That was one of the first things on their list. They approved it. So now they're, they're doing a lot of — now they're doing a lot of things that shouldn't be done, shouldn't be done. If you — if you talk — if you talk to the real generals, not the television generals, the real generals, we got some — hey, look, I knocked out ISIS in a few weeks with real generals. We have — we have a great military. But we're not going to let our military go woke, that I can tell you. But the real generals in the military, down a little bit, those guys are incredible. The, the way they did that, the way they took out a lot of bad people, but they took out uh, ISIS, the ISIS caliphate, 100 percent, and it was surgical. It was incredible. We will get critical race theory and all other woke lunacy out of the United States Armed Forces. And we will abolish every Biden COVID mandate and rehire every patriot who was fired from our military with an apology and with back pay. And in addition, I will make it a personal mission to totally eradicate veterans' homelessness. I mean, you have a situation in America it's a scandal. It's a disgrace what's happening now. It's, nobody's ever seen. And it is a national tragedy that Joe Biden, crooked Joe, he's more interested in where's the money coming from. To him. He's interested to him. How about all these things with the 30 corporations and the this and the that, the money flowing in, everybody getting money coming in from China? How can you, how can you be tough in China when they're paying you a lot of money? And see, they know too much. You know, we have a compromise. We have a Manchurian candidate. They know, they know too much. So he can't be tough in China. That's why he's so — that's why he allows blimps flying over the country, right over our nuclear sites. Let them come in. Let them take pictures. Oh, don't do anything about it. They'll tell — they'll tell everybody who's giving me all that money. He's a compromised candidate. And I'll tell you something. Out of respect for the office of president, I didn't talk this way five weeks ago, six weeks ago. I knew, I felt very badly about what was going on. I, but out of respect for the office of the president, I wouldn't have said the way I talk. He's a crooked person. He's a totally dishonest guy. So we'd say things, but, but we now — I even changed his name. I took it away from Hillary, and we call him Crooked Joe. Instead of Sleepy Joe, we call him Crooked Joe. I retired it. That was a great day for Hillary. I, instead of Crooked Hillary, I said, we're removing the name from Crooked Hillary. Now, we call her beautiful, beautiful Hillary. She's a beautiful woman. And we're giving it to Biden because he's a crooked person. But out of respect for the office, I would never have said that to this extent. And I never did.